Hello, my name is Alvin Olet. I'm a fine artist, painter, printmaker, and digital artist. I've recently moved to the Berkshire area uh, about two years ago from the Boston area. I worked at Massachusetts College of Art and Design for about 35 years and manager of the printmaking studio and adjunct faculty. Uh, my recent body of work was exhibited at Realized Gallery in Adams, Mass. And uh, it consists of a series of plein air paintings. Plein air painting is a traditional uh, form of painting where the artist literally sets up on the street. You probably know people like Monet and Van Gogh, uh, the Impressionists were known for their plein air painting, and much of that tradition lives today. What it consists of is an artist sending their studio up right on the side of the street and painting. Now, I take another angle to that. I actually like to envelop the viewer in my work. So I actually look up and down the street. For instance, in this painting here of Park Street in Adams, the street appears to be curved. Again, in this painting up here of Adams, the street is almost completely curved into a view. What I'm doing here is I'm looking up in a 360 degree turn rather than straight on. And what that does is it, it distorts the uh, perspective of the street so that the street actually is bent so that you can see up and down the street at the same time. It's a technique that I've incorporated over the years to give the viewer a sense of being enveloped by the painting. So that was one of my main focuses here was to try to give the viewer a, a feeling of actually being in the environment and in doing so create a sense of familiarity of the town and appreciation of the the various buildings and the natural environment in which they sit. So welcome to my studio. I'd like to show you a few paintings today that I did as a result of my recent show. Another way I explore distorting and, and enveloping the viewer in this space is by using a method I developed many years ago through printmaking. Painting monoprints on plexiglass and transferring the painting onto a print, onto paper, through the press. In doing so, uh, I eventually started to become engaged with the image on the plate as it was painted. And here I have an example of a drawing that I did outside, so incorporating the plein air uh, approach to a plexiglass plate where I drew the image directly through the plexiglass. So in fact, what you're looking at here is the back of the painting. And what you see is the drawing underneath the painting itself. Here, of course, it's in reverse because it's the back. But where I actually do the painting is on the front. What happens is when I'm drawing on the glass, the, the foreground is greatly exaggerated and all of the buildings and all of the landscape is pushed way back into the distance and distorted in terms of scale. It gives the, the viewer a sense of vastness in front of them and it diminishes the scale of everything that you're viewing. Once that's turned around, the, this is the side that I paint on, and it's actually the visual side. So it's a really a combination of both plein air and a kind of a monoprint technique that I developed while I was doing the printmaking. Another aspect of my work is printmaking. Uh, in this case, we're looking at a plate that is uh, prepared to be printed on the press. Now, this is, a, a, again, a piece of Lexan, which is a polycarbonate plastic, and the painting is done on the Lexan, then transferred onto paper through the pressure of the press. In this process, I repeat the process over and over and over again to build up the tones in the print. Now here's the resulting print on paper of the oil painting on glass. Another aspect of this work is I'm working from imagination in the studio and it's a culmination of having done plein air painting outside, having had the experience of exposing myself to the elements and um, rendering work in that environment, and then going in the studio and then trying to recreate that same effect in the studio. 
it lends itself towards imagination and reconfiguring or re-envisioning of the piece. Uh, I eventually will start to create works from these works that will embody the images that are in the work, but recreate them again and incorporate them into new pieces. Again, this is a piece on glass that can be prepared for printing on the press and actually has two lives on one side and then again the image is repeated on the other side. So I like to work in a, in a variety of medium and on a variety of surfaces and I often find that the material that you're working in influences the images greatly and I have a tendency to have a transformation of imagery when I transform from one process to another. And another manifestation of my work is then, after I've painted and printed, created model prints and paintings directly on site, I'll enter those images into the computer through a digital camera and digitize the imagery. Once the images are digitized, I will recreate and reassemble the imagery into new compositions. So these are examples of digital prints that are uh, reformatted and collaged paintings that I've done in the past. They consist of paintings, prints, monoprints, digital drawings that I'll bring together and then create a dreamscape of, in a sense, of the type of imaginary space and real space that I see around me, creating a new format from which to view that, that juxtaposition of natural and built environment.